Hey, and welcome back to my channel. Are you wondering if your partner can be on your personal board of directors? Stay tuned because I'm going to talk about why that may or may not be the best decision for you. For the best advice on self-care and personal empowerment, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to get notified when I release a new video every Thursday. So can your partner be on your personal board of directors? By the way, for those of you who aren't sure what I'm talking about when I say personal board of directors, be sure you check out my earlier video. I will link to that in the description below as well as put a little link up top. Here's the thing. Your personal board of directors, they're a group of people who you turn to when you want critical feedback, when you want critical constructive feedback. They're people who can give it to you straight, tell it like it really is. Now, I don't know about you, but sometimes when I receive feedback from my partner, my husband, I'm not in the best state to receive that information because that's my husband. He's supposed to love and support me no matter what. That's the role of your partner. They're supposed to be the person on your side no matter the circumstances. They should be team insert your name here all the time, no matter what. Your personal board of directors, not so much. They're there to give you the feedback that you need to help support you making the best decisions for your life. And sometimes those best decisions aren't necessarily the ones we want to make. I mean, let's be honest about it. They're there to make sure that you're staying in alignment with your truth, that you're staying in alignment with your values. And do we want our partners to do that as well? Yes, but we want them to do it in a different way. We want them to do it from that love perspective. Our personal board of directors, they're more like I don't know, think about it like friendly managers, <laughs> people who can give us that annual review when we need it from the people that we know have our backs. It's a little bit like we want to keep our business life and our personal life separate. I don't know about you, but if I was running a big corporation, I don't know that I would want my partner sitting on my board of directors when I'm the corporation's CEO. You're the CEO of your life, so you should have a board of directors that has the capacity to evaluate you in a way that is productive, constructive, and feels good. Your partner, on the other hand, this should be a person who you can go to at the end of the day, take off the CEO hat, and just be you. So to make this sweet and short, no, I do not recommend inviting your partner to serve on your personal board of directors. That's a different role, and I hope that this has been helpful. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I would love to know, do you have a personal board of directors? And is your partner on your board of directors, and how is that working out for you? Self-care is an everyday practice. Make sure you take a look at and download my free guide, 50 Tips for Everyday Living. You can find that in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like it, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell to get notified when I release a new video every Thursday. Stay ignited out there. I will see you soon. Bye.